Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Bill. It's, uh, I don't know what time it is. I slept late. It ain't like 7 a.m. or nothing. Got the lawnmower running over there warming up. I started doing this. I'm going to show you here um, what I'm doing with this to make the holes so we can tie these together. I've made a little pilot hole for the pinner, for the point. And then I just drill this hole down to where it's deep enough to go through all three wood, pieces of wood. Oh. Um, I'm not going to do the whole thing because that's just going to look stupid and you're just going to watch the same thing over and over again. But uh, I drill that down deep enough that I can hammer that all the way through all three pieces and tie them together. Now the thing about this is that's a half inch bit, okay? And this rebar is half inch rebar. And because of the nature of the wood, I force this down in there and then the wood will actually swell up around these pieces and grip on the ridges. Kind of the same way that when concrete hardens around it, the concrete uses all those little ridges to hold it together. So, um, I got 13 pieces of rebar, and if you look here, um, I've made 13, well, they were started out as X's, and then they got to be a uh, little pilot hole, okay, to go up here to the end. I really wanted to put one in here, but I needed a 14th. I want to get there on the corner, and I want to get over there to tie those three pieces together, okay? Um, see, straight below here, I'm out towards the end. Now, rocks go up in here and dirt right there because that's going to allow water to kind of pass around, go in underneath there. I'm going to put some sand there that will help with the water as well, okay? And then it can run on out without washing out the dirt we're going to put in here. I may have the dirt later today. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on uh, when Cindy gets back. Then likely what I'll do is I'll pull these out and I'll move them next to here. The same general way that this one is. And then, um, I know it's hard to see that because of the light. There's a regular hole here and here. And then there's a clip here and here that would normally um, hold wire. Usually you pull them up and then you drop the, lot, the top latch in here or here so that it holds wire onto the stake without having to have some big elaborate system to tie the wire. Um, we're not putting wire there or at least right now I'm not putting wire there. But what I'll do is I'll move each one of those over and using those holes and I'll bend out that tab, I'll run a Torx head uh, deck screw through there to pull that up against that, giving it more stability along with everything else. The uh, rebar that's already in the ground plus the depth of the stakes in the ground plus everything tying together. That should make it be good enough for what we're going to do for now. And then, of course, we'll get over here where the thing didn't quite make it. We'll have some siltier type dirt that'll fill that in, and that'll be okay there. Um, that'll also allow, with the, uh, with the sand that I'm going to put in, that will allow it to kind of try to drain out a little bit. You know, give it a weep run right through there all the way up here and then to come out here anyway uh, that's it for now I'm gonna go ahead and drive this one in and when I get done driving this one in I'll show you what it looks like and then uh, you know what I might be able to let me see if I can make this show you while I'm driving it in I might be able to do that let's just try this and if it doesn't look too god awful stupid, um, ooh, where's everything? Oh my god! 
Okay, we gotta aim this way. I don't know how well this will work. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll take it out. And you'll never see it. You'll just see it goodbye. But if it does work, then you can watch me hammer on this. Ah. And now you'll know why I said this son bitch was kicking my ass yesterday. I'll make that look easy, but trust me, it ain't. Now, let's get the phone back up here, and I'll show you what I did. <clears throat> that one right there, okay, is all the way down through all three of those, which makes this whole thing tighten up like one piece of wood, more so than just those big nails. So anyway, um, that's it for now. I'll see you later. By the way, while I'm at it, um, right here, I'm supposed to run, and I may do that today too, another piece out to the end, and out that way a little bit, and then a piece across the top a little shorter, so that you got two here, one, one, and then a third one coming across the top to kind of block this area in because Cindy wants it that way. I know, I'm moving the camera too fast, Shackage, I'm sorry. Um, I still have seven of these full size and um, then I got that partial left over from out there. So, it should be more than enough for me to do that one um we'll just we'll just have to see i'm moving it slow for you shockage yeah slow <laughs> hey he'll probably say shut up noob i got something in my shoes by the way i don't know if you guys noticed yesterday these are my old crappy shoes they virtually have no top um and the velcro straps now uh generally serve to do not much more than hold the shoes on my feet. Um, so that's kind of, yeah. But anyway, um, that's something else I wanted to bring up. And we may actually work on that. Something I did a uh, year before last that I don't like is if you look at this, you can see how the flyer box is kind of tilted downwards. I really don't like that. I didn't think it'd sink that much. So I'm a little disappointed. However, I may be able to force it up and block underneath it and, you know, get it leveled out. But for what it really matters, it doesn't matter if it does that because that just allows the water to run off. And that's probably why water would run down along the, uh, the deck and it would get up to that point and it would seep down and that caused all that to settle. So anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you guys in a bit as soon as I find out what the hell I did with the other shovel because I'm going to need it. I'm going to get some of that sand and put it out there. So, anyway, see you later.